All right, hello. My name is Eddie Abrupta, and I'm the CTO at Raftermax. Today, we're here at Greentown Labs uh, in Somerville in Boston, Massachusetts. And we're gonna show you how to fly the M300 for a solar farm. So we have a lot of solar on the roof of Greentown. Uh, so yeah, I pretty much wanna open it up, um, you know, get the drone set up and then show you how to fly today and inspect the solar farm. Uh, so uh, let me just pop this open. This is the M300 in its stock case. We also got our batteries and this intelligent battery station. Uh, and quick, quick shout out to, to Gresco for helping us, you know, get the, get the equipment um, and, uh, you know, making this demo possible. So I'm going to just install these legs. This is pretty nice because I don't know if you remember with the M200, you kind of have to fumble with it in your hand and juggle it to get the legs on. But this one, you just install the legs uh, right in the case and your propellers stay on the drone. Uh, so it makes it pretty fast to, to get going and get flying. Um, so what I like to do is just uh, flip this guy out uh, like that, bring it over here. So uh, there you go. It's pretty much set up. We got to just take these foam bits off here uh, that are holding our propellers in. And it's a little bit of a jigsaw puzzle to unfold this. So there we go. And then, yeah, I'll pretty much just nicely open this up. Get our arms out like that. I'll do that over here as well. Oh, sorry, just a second. So I'm not total expert quite yet. There we go, there we go. I get better as, as I get to do this more and more. Um, so yeah, just lock these uh, arms in, same way as the M200. It's pretty nice. I'll make sure they're good. There's also no RTK antennas, so the antennas are, you know, on the back. So that, that's nice, too, because before you kind of had to screw those in. So let me do that. And then today, I'll, I'll open these up. Nice foldable propellers. Uh, if you want to take them off, you do have to unscrew them with a little Allen key. Uh, so let's see. And then for today, very important for solar is the payload. So we got the... Zenmuse H20T, uh, which is one of DJI's newest thermal cameras. Uh, it's uh, got a zoom lens. It's got wide, uh, as well as uh, a 640 by 512 thermal camera and a laser rangefinder. Uh, so let me just get that going. And I, uh, yeah, let me just slide this on here into the sky port. Pretty easy to do. And then we're pretty much ready to go with our payload. There we go. And that is pretty much how you get your M300 set up. Let's, uh, let's uh, set up our flight software and give it a fly. So we're using our smart controller. Uh, we have the pilot app open and I'm gonna walk you through how to uh, plan a flight mission. Let's get that going. If you have a KML file or the boundary of your site, you can you know, import that. Uh, but today we're going to just, uh, I'm going to show you totally from scratch. So let's create a route. We're going to choose mapping. And what we're going to do is we want to set up a Raptor standard flight plan. So we have comprehensive, standard, and overview. Uh, today we're going to set up standard. Um, so as you can see, we're in uh, Boston's, uh, you know, Boston Logan's Class B airspace. There's a lot of activity. Um, but we have Lance authorization to fly up to 150 feet. AGL. That's going to be very important because for Raptor standard with the H20T camera, the flight altitude is 204 feet. However, we have a 150 foot flight ceiling. Uh, so we're actually going to bring down our altitude to, to be, uh, to adhere to the, you know, the, that ceiling. So let's, uh, let's dive in here. I'm going to basically zoom into where we're at. Uh, this is Greentown's roof. Satellite maps a little outdated here, uh, but there is solar all along the center spine of the roof here uh, that the solar panels run uh, along with the roof. And you'll, you'll see that once we get flying. Um, but essentially, I'm just going to tap and get this going. I'm going to do about half the roof. I want to line up my grid here. So just give me a second. Uh, all these green lines, which are where the drone is going to actually fly, we'll handle that in a second. So let's get this polygon nice and squared up. 
give me a second to get it a little bit better. Okay, perfect. I, I like drawing the polygon exactly where I where I want to fly. So that's going to be good enough for what we want to do today on this rooftop. All right, let's get into the settings. So, um, you know, we basically... Oh, and we'll also give this mission a name. That's good practice. Let me open that up. So we'll call this uh, GTL uh, H20T. Uh, and it's V... <laughs> I think I'm going to plan. Yeah, V2 v is OK. So there we go. All right. So very important is the camera. So uh, the H20T is not actually uh, inside here. So what we're going to have to do is set up a custom camera. So you'll see there's the Zenmuse H20. And we'll go to custom camera. And I already have the H20T in here. So let me just show you that one. Uh, you can name the camera. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set the photo size width to 512 pixels, the photo size height to 640 pixels. We're going to set the center size to 6.14 millimeters, center size height to 7.68 millimeters, and the focal length to 13.5. Okay, this is very confusing. When we think of our camera, we usually think it's a 640 by 512. So why did we do this? And as I showed you before, the way the drone's gonna actually fly using DJI Pilot, uh, it's gonna be pointed east and west, but we're gonna make the camera yaw 90 degrees uh, to be basically the heading of the camera to be facing north. Uh, so in order to do that correctly, we actually had to swap the width and the height so that our overlaps are calculated correctly. Very confusing, um, but for what we want to do with the DJI Pilot flying with the X-T2 or the H-20T, uh, we're going to actually swap that width and height. So mark that as done. Choose that camera. Uh, and what we want to do here is timed interval shot. That's good. Okay, now altitude. As I mentioned before, we're in Class B airspace with a 150-foot flight ceiling. Uh, we're, we're on a roof today, uh, and we're 30 feet above the ground. So that means that I want to fly the drone 120 feet from my takeoff position. Uh, so 120 feet, uh, this is in meters, but 120 feet is going to be uh, 36 meters. So I'm going to put in 36. And like I said, for, for typically when you don't have a flight ceiling, you're going to fly at 204 feet. And if you're taking off from the ground, this would be straightforward. Um, but for today, in Boston's Class B airspace with a 150 foot flight ceiling, standing on a 30 foot roof, altitude of 36 meters is gonna uh, give us very very good um, compliance there. Takeoff speed, default's 10, actually it's at eight. I think 10's a little fast, but feel free to use what you're comfortable with. Um, and then on the flight speed, uh, you wanna set this, uh, usually don't wanna exceed uh, 12 and a half miles per hour if you're at 200 feet. Uh, but today, because we've decreased the altitude a little bit, we've had to slow the drone down a little bit. So that's okay at, at two meters per second. Let's get into our advanced flight setting. Uh, now with Raptor Maps, what's really cool is we use a really low side overlap. So that makes the flight planning and uh, go really fast and your missions go fast. So we're going to set the side overlap to 20, like so. And now with the front overlap, we actually uh, can reduce it to 70. With So with the H20T camera and the M300, uh, our software is working totally fine with 70% front overlap. That's going to save you a little bit of imagery. Also let the drone fly a little bit faster. Um, so we're doing 70-20, uh, which is really cool. We're super excited about that. Okay, let's get into the course angle. Um, this rooftop isn't perfectly aligned north to south. Uh, so we got to put in a course angle, I think around 120 degrees, we'll get it. Uh, that's not quite right. Let's let's shore it up a little bit. So I want the green lines to basically be parallel with how the solar panels are going. And that's, that's the correct orientation for that roof. Actually, that's probably perfect. Um, now, if you're, you know, outside the solar farm is a fixed tilt, course angle of 90 degrees or maybe 89 or maybe 91 degrees is going to be perfect because a lot of solar farms typically, typically point directly south. Uh, but because we're on a roof, they don't perfectly, uh, you know, they match more of how the building was built, not exactly point directly south. So for this, for this flight, 114 degrees course angle looks really good. Um, margin. So this is the green lines are extending past our polygon we drew. I don't usually like to use margin. I like to draw the polygon exactly where I 
where I want it and, and make it go a little bit uh, wider. So I'm going to put a margin of zero. This is a demo flight. If we were outside or if we were at a ground mount site, I'd probably make our polygon a little bit wider uh, to make, make sure that we get everything in view. Uh, but for this flight today, I think zero margin is going to work just, just fine. So, okay, I'm going to hit save here for a second. Uh, we're pretty much set up. We got RTK enabled. We have our flight plan. Um, you always want to, you know, double check your altitude. That's that's very important since we're going to be flying. Um, let's just double check that that all saved properly. Okay, 36 meters. That that was correct. Uh, and then I'll hit the play button, but I, I won't actually take off just yet until I'm a better better set up with the drone here. But just to show you, when you hit play, it runs through a little flight checklist. It'll show you if there's any errors or issues uh, that you need to take care of before you fly, maybe calibrate a compass. And once you're ready to go, you hit upload flight mission, loads the waypoints on the drone, and you're, you're ready to fly this automated mission. So uh, hopefully you enjoy how to, how to use the DJI Pilot app to uh, plan a, a flight mission. All right, at this point, we got our flight mission set up. Uh, we're pretty much ready to fly. I got our visual observer keeping an eye on our airspace. Uh, so let's uh, let's press the play button here. Uh, when we hit upload flight mission, our waypoints are going to the drone. I also have the camera uh, yaw 90 degrees. That's going to be important in flight, and I'll show you that once we're flying. So let's fly. Okay, so at this point, let's swap over to our thermal camera. It's going to head to our start point. And now we're going to yaw this camera to align uh, with the solar modules. So we have the yaw there, the pitch is right, that looks great. And now you'll notice the drone is flying actually uh east at the moment and then when we hit the edge of the the map the drone's gonna uh turn and change its heading and go the other way but the camera tries to maintain uh its heading so once we start going the other way you'll see our drone is going to turn 90 degrees and then we have to just shore up the the y'all on the camera there it tries to do a pretty good job, but it's maybe off by 10, 20 degrees. So every time you pass, you just want to take the yaw of the camera, uh, which is this guy over here. And you just want to make sure that that's lined up well. But pretty much you're, you're flying automatically. So the heading of the drone changed. I can kind of sure up the yaw a little bit. Um, and pitch, pitch you can't adjust. If you put it up a little bit, it brings it back down to 90. So you're stuck with a 90 degree pitch. Not perfect, but it works pretty well. So you see the drone turned again, but the heading of the camera stayed correct with north facing up. Uh, so that, that is a lot different than Ground Station Pro, uh, where we crab walk. This, the drone actually follows the flight plan and the camera stays put. And that will pretty much end our short little demo mission here. Another point I, I failed to mention while we were flying was that you want to set the zoom camera to two. And that creates a really good field of view miss, uh, match between the IR camera and the zoom camera. So the zoom camera 2.0x is really good. You can also see the wide view here. Um, but yeah, at this point, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it in manually uh, for this landing. Camera flipped upwards. And there you go. That's how to automatically plan a flight mission. As I showed you, you have to yaw the camera a little bit uh, as the as the drone turns. Um, but that, that's pretty much all you have to do as it's flying. Thanks.